Hi everyone, I'm Yi from Berkeley, and I'm excited to be here to talk about our work on optimizing rankings for recommendation matching markets. And this is a joint work with Mac and Thorsten from Cornell. So as we know that conventionally like rankings are used in settings such as like, say like music recommendations, like book or item recommendations or like search results. And it's widely known that for those settings, so you can just say like you can rank the items based on how they're relevant to the user. And this will basically give us the maximum utility that we could get. And this is also what's stated in the probability ranking principle, which says that say for optimal retrieval documents should be ranked in order of the probability of relevance or usefulness to the user. And nowadays that this ranking systems, they are not only utilized say, in this conventional re recommendation settings, but they're also say like widely used in a new kind of like online platforms, which we call like matching markets. This includes say, like job search, like college admission, like housing allocation, like dating or like social recommendations. So what makes them different from like recommender system is that if you think about say this like recommender systems such as like traditional like ones such as like recommending items like news articles where only the users have preference however in this kind of like new like multi-sided matching markets or market platforms such as say like linkedin we're recommending say job candidates to employers and also in airbnb we're say recommending like hosts to guests and also in dating apps we're kind of recommending people to people so the key difference is that in this like kind of more societal applications, now we have preference from both sides and also there's like scarcity in the supply side, because mostly now they become like people or they have limited resources. And meanwhile, both sides they have constraints still in like how many options we can evaluate. And under these conditions, we will see like the naive one side of like probability ranking principle will be highly suboptimal. And it really calls for say like how new ranking algorithms should like proposed in this new setting. So basically I will go through a very short example to see like how like the conventional ranking principle will be suboptimal here. So basically I'll take a like link in like job seeker as an example. Say so like this is our all the like candidates in the markets who are looking for jobs. And this is say like what kind of like one side like what kind of like rankings we're giving to them to recommend okay like what's how you rank how each individual employers. And say, if there's a very popular employer, say the red, red one, it might be like, say, highly relevant to lots of the job candidates. And if we're just ranking the traditional, like, if we're just ranking by, say, like, how, the, how this specific employer are relevant to the user, this is what it looks like. So, and if we just recommend this, say, like, this one side, the person less ranking to the candidates, and say, like, if we only consider a very simplified case, in very simplified case, say the candidate will only say apply the first rank item with certain probability. And then this is the how like, like they will only apply say like this job, this red one, which will be the highly popular one. And then this is the employer's perspective. So for and this is how they're like how the applications will they receive will look like. So since by sim simplicity, like each employer say we are we are assume they are only also examining only the top position in their like rank their apply list so this makes there's only like one this specific one match in the market as we can see and so this will as the effect this will make the employer being too overwhelmed by the candidate but different like a lot of candidates and also this will definitely definitely leave a lot of company or employers they have like no application at all so for the candidate side like they have a similar effect because like putting time and effort to the highly popular one may finally make them say like get nothing like also from the candidate side so to elevate this, we really need to consider some like say globally optimal recommendations. For example, by presenting recommendations that try to balance the load and maximize the number of successful matches in the market. And so this is may, might be a lot more balanced ranking look like. So now instead of recommending this top popular one, we may just recommending the previous say, second, re, secondly related item in the first position, which will give this employer more exposure and larger probability of the candidate applying to these jobs which finally gives say four possible matches in the markets and will highly increase the market efficiency here. So in today's talk, I will introduce like our first effort to directly address ranking problem for two-sided two markets. First, I will introduce say like how we formally define the problem of ranking in two-sided matching markets under a, like apply accept interaction protocol that we defined, which used in many real world settings. 
And after this, I will introduce like the recommender system that is able to jointly optimize personalized rankings for all candidates, such that we are with a goal like to maximize social welfare in this like two-sided matching markets. Then I, uh, then I will introduce some empirical study of our method on both like synthetic and real world data sets. Finally, I will open up some like discussion on additional strategic behaviors such as like adoption and retention, and also like fairness issues that like will like be emerge under this framework. And yep, so I think this is outline. And we and now like I, I will just begin by introducing our new framework for like this kind of rankings for matching markets. So for simplicity, like I will use the job recommendation platform as a running example in the in this talk. And however, as we will see later, this framework is pretty like general as like as we will see later. So basically our protocol is kind of a sequential and asymmetric interaction process. The first, firstly, the step one is that the job candidates like will browse through their rank list of jobs and then they will apply to the jobs or employers that they find relevant. And after this, the employers will start to like react by browse the rankings of their of the of any of the, their applications and respond to the applications that they find relevant and invite them to say for an interview. And we call this kind of like mutual like like invitation match. And the goal of the ranking system is to design like rankings for each candidate such that we can try to maximize the total like number of expected matches in the market. And so to formalize this process, so basically for each candidate we denote as C, when they come to the market, the system just samples the stochastic ranking, say sigma C, from some policy pipe. And then this is our say the ranking of employers, and then we will just present it to the candidate. Then for each candidate, they will just like act independently by going down the ranking and applying to the employer if they find it if they find it is relevant, which we say that application probability like is modeled by using a position-based model, which means that the probability of this candidacy applied to this employer J is a product of the relevance probability, which we denote as like FCJ, and the examination probability, where like in position-based model, the examination probability say of employer J, like just depends on the rank of the, this employer J in the ranking that we give to this candidacy. And basically this is like how we write the probability of applying to a specific like a specific like fixed ranking sigma C. And so when we aggregate it over the like stochastic policy pi and do some like algebra to compact the notation and write up and we can write application probability in this form. So which like we denote as like this FCJ recall it's a relevance probability and E is just a standard basis vector and V we use it as a compact notation of say examination probabilities for each different rank. And M is the W stochastic matrix, which uniquely characterizes the stochastic ranking that we want to solve with like each JK entry of this like matrix denotes that the probability of like under our like stochastic ranking, the probability of putting employer J at rank K. And this is like the goal that we want to solve. This is because it denotes kind of like a stochastic ranking that we want to show. And so to visualize it using an example, assume say like we have like five candidates and like say five employers that like denote as J1 to J5 and like in the market. And so this is what we look like from like one, one from a perspective of two, like from like one specific candidate, say C, C1. And then for C1, basic, the system needs to compute a personalized stochastic ranking, which we just like recall, it is characterized by this W stochastic matrix. And which like in the JK position, like it just denotes, okay, like what's the probability of like putting, putting say like a uh, J1 in the rank two, like this is just denotes this. And so after we have this stochastic ranking, then we just sample a specific ranking from it. Like, and then we show the specific ranking to the candidacy. So this is typically using the Birkhoff decomposition. And then we present this ranking to C1. And then C1 will just apply to this kind of like uh, different employers based on the ranking we show them. So the application probability depends on say how this J5 relevant to C1 and also with some like examination probability. So here we assume like the examination probability is inverse to rank. So like the first position have one, the second position have one half and one third, et cetera. So the product of them is just like the probability of C1 applies to these different employers. 
And after this, the second step is that, okay, now the employer will start to react. Like, so the process is that for each employer J, like the system will give employer J a rank of, a rank of like a rank list of candidates, but only like who apply to them. And it's not all the candidates. And we will denote this kind of like a, this subset of candidates to apply to job J under a like stochastic ranking policy pi as a CJ pi, which is, which is definitely a subset of all the candidates. And note that this set is stochastic because it depends on like how each individual like, uh, like candidates they apply and like it depends on each realization of the process, how this different candidate act. Then the employer, when they like receive this rank list of like you know, candidates, they will like start to react, basically follow a similar position based model. So which is the product of the relevance probability say of like how this specific candidate C is relevant to this employer J. And also the expected rank of this candidacy, all the candidates who apply to this employer J. And so continue with our previous example. So this like yellow part is how the candidate act. And now like we're looking from like how the employer will react. And this is like this chart is just show from like one realization that we look like say from also from a specific employer's perspective, say like J4. So taking the perspective of employer J4, like among all these five candidates, like say like C1, C2, and C5 are applied to J4. Then among three of them, like we just re-rank this like three uh, candidates based on like their how they relevant to J4. Say like candidate C2 will be ranked first because they have like highest relevance probability to J4, and we rank based on this. And then J4 will be like a reply to the candidates or, or you invite them for interviews like based on the following probability depends on the relevance like of like each each uh each candidacy in j4's perspective and also the examination probability basically depends on the position of like each candidates and <clears throat> and formulating this interaction process now we want to like discuss a little bit about like how do we define the utility of the system like how do we compare like whether each ranking policy will be better than the other. And now like say this basically could be intuitively understand that we want like basically what we want to like care is basically what we care is kind of the expected number of batches that we could get from the market. And we see that a match of a candidate job pair is successful is like say candidate C basically they apply to job J and also the employer J also finds C relevant and like invite them for interview. And we see this is a successful match. So basically the utility for each candidacy is just the expected number of like say total matches it could get. And so by some simple algebra, we could rewrite rewritten it in the following format. And as we can show here, like this is actually very similar to traditional ranking measures like DCG. Like instead, like compared to DCG, like we, uh, we have like one set relevance here. Now we have like much more complicated form, which we see that utility of each rank item not depends on like the traditional one side relevancy, like how each item like related to the candidates, but how this candidate is related to the employer. And also like potentially depends on like the candidates in each employer's rank, which depend, which actually like implicitly depends on all each other, all each candidate's relevance and how they act in the market. And so this is basically the utility for each candidate. And when we sum over all candidates, we'll get the, like the overall social welfare of the market. And this is basically the ultimate goal that we want to optimize. So now with our all like modeling protocols, now we can like formally define our, the problem that we're, we're working on. It's called like social welfare maximization for rankings in the two-sided mar matching markets. So basically given the like a two-sided matching market with the proactive side C, which we see here correspond to candidates who, start, who, who like initiate this process. And also reactive side J, which we did as employers in our, in our like example. And along that with like two-sided relevance probabilities, basically the goal is to design a stochastic ranking policy pi, which like we could maximize the expected total number of matches in the market. And in this new setting of matching markets, we argue that the naive one-side relevance ranking could be highly suboptimal. And this really calls for say like new algorithms which could directly maximize social welfare in this framework. And however, due to some like interdependencies of the rankings, the original social welfare objectives kind of like intractable and hard to solve like directly. 
So to address this, what we did is that we figure out like under some mild condition of examination functions, say like we we'll just assume it is convex, then there exists an easily compute lower bound of our social welfare objective. And this condition is kind of like the condition like on the examination function, like it's pretty mild because like mostly like DCG already satisfied this. And given it's this- better to just wrap up you. Oh, so right. we have so, limited time. So, okay. So okay, I just write great. in chat just in case you didn't see it. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you. Like I would grab us. Yeah. Given this lower bound, basically we can optimize our optimization objective as falling. Basically we're trying to maximize the lower bound of the utility and we are making sure like the metrics were solving in response to some stoch stochastic racking by making it like say to be stochastic, double stochastic. And beyond theoretical like development, we also empirically examine our proposed method in both synthetic and real world data sets. And so in synthetic data, basically like we try to vary the data set size, the level of cardiness of the market, like the different modeling of the examination function. And we also compare with like various baselines such as like naive relevance ranking, like the reciprocal relevance ranking, and also an LP baseline ranking, which initially designed to just recommend a set of items. And as we can see here, like this red, like the social welfare ranking achieved pretty strong performance robustly across different environment of the like matching markets. And especially in this kind of crowded markets and deep examination functions. And also this conclusion holds similarly in like two real world data sets, which one is we collected for like social network recommendation, one is for online dating. And beyond this single like metric of utility, we also discuss other aspects of this kind of new type of recommender system in the market, such as like fairness, like whether this individual utility are equally distributed and also other strategic behaviors, such as like uh, retention, like do candidates want to participate in the system and also like retention, like do candidates want to, they want to continue like stay in the system. And all this perspective, they open like new research directions to this new form of recommender systems, which try to optimize the effectiveness of market as a whole. And with this, I would like to wrap up my presentation open for questions. Thank you. You're welcome for this fluent presentation. So if you have any questions from the audience, you can either type in chat or you can just say it loud. Okay, could you just briefly mention about the temporal impact of your analysis? So as you mentioned, the matching is actually depending on when you see these uh, possible positions, right? So it's just like a game theoretic perspective, maybe a better approach in this case to understand their mutual benefit. So the temporary, uh, so thanks for the question. So the temporary effect basically mentions that, so like uh, different like participants or like different employers, they may enter the market like dynamically or like in a different tab step. Is it more referred to this perspective or? Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, thanks for, yeah, this is a very good question. So initially like, or like ranking like this axioms, like uh, when we like try to solve this, the input that we kind of require is that you need to know the relevance of the two sides of the market. And so basically like, this is more like a, like a, like one time shot, like optimization perspective. And so I think if you like try to like uh, optimize this in like a more dynamically environment, like one possible like, uh, like solution there could be like, you could like try, so after like, you have some candidates in like you try to match them already like you have this conditional information and then up like build upon this conditional information you can try to just like re-optimize your ranking principles like say given like per day or like per like like different time interval for that 